right, so uh, I switched over back to I, my original machine because the noise on the other machine, like the fan, it was unbearable. So I decided I just switch back over to this machine here just for convenience because I couldn't take the noise. Uh, it was really bad. And I also am using the Atom IDE to run this project because of the issue with the web storm and the RD and everything like that. So when I start it out, I'll probably uh, see if I could switch back over. And uh, I have this project running, so I just have it running here in the server. So if we should go to the browser, you'll see that it's, it's pretty much the same project from the last time. What I'm going to do now is just to, uh, here, you could do an NPM install and this will do the installation for Bulma because that's what we're going to install in this video to use the CSS and stuff like that and but what I'm going to use I'm just going to use a CDN because this is just much uh, easier uh, at the time I really don't need to have uh, we like really really don't need to have uh, the, the thing installing our dependencies as we're not like doing any production so because we're just using some some sort of testing or whatever we can just install it from here so if you want the the icon i think we're going to need to get this so i think i'm going to paste that so this is like the starter template and if you remember this is what the the index.html look like so when we come here i'm just going to go ahead and paste that in here so right here I'm going to paste that right there so you'll be able to get that and also we're going to need this file so I'm just going to copy this file here and uh, and paste that in in here and we can save this and we should now be able to 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 use Bulma so if we should check this out there's there wasn't any reloading which is uh, good, I guess. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, there we go. And uh, let's see here. We're just gonna head back over to the browser. Nothing should really change, but it's reloading at, at least, so we know that it's grabbing something from uh, the CDN or whatever. So now, what we wanna do? What I, what I want to do is just to head back over here at Bomo. And go to go and get a, a nav bar because we want to change that nav bar that day that view gave us and we're gonna go ahead and, and grab a nav bar from from Bulma and then we're gonna refactor it to make it look like like what's in the image and the nav bar is in components you go to documentation uh, slash components and I think in there we should find the, the Bulma thing I don't know why this is still reloading Okay, let me stop this. Let's refresh and see if, if it's an issue with the CDN or whatever. Uh, and I don't see any reloading, so it should be reloading, but that's the least. Uh, let's get back over here, components, and we want a nav bar. So let's go ahead and grab nav bar. I'm just gonna grab the first one that I see, and we can refactor it to, to whatever we want. So, uh, here we go. So we have this one. I don't want any sign up or anything like that. Someone's gonna get rid of those. So copy. You should copy everything here. If I remember correctly, and we can create a sources folder in here. Well, not a folder a component. We can create a navbar component, and we're gonna use a capital letter first as a part of view documentation standard put the view extension i think we have an extension in here that i install for view which is going to give me the structure there and using Vue.js, we're going to have to have a a div that wraps everything so i'm just going to paste uh, i didn't copy it I didn't copy it let's go ahead and just manually copy it I don't know why it's not copying. Just manually copy everything. 
normally we just copy everything for us. So here I'll just do that. So that's all that we need. I'm not even gonna format it just like that. Then we can save. And it's not obviously it's not gonna come up here because we haven't imported or anything. But I just wanted to check that reloading thing. But because we're not going to use, I think I think that has to do with. Uh, I think that's may ha may have to do with the the ja the JavaScript because normally if you should install JavaScript, um, if you put it up here and it needs to load or whatever, it will stop the page. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it down here, so it's at the end, so everything will load first and then ja the JavaScript will load after. So this is just fun to awesome for for fonts and stuff like that. So. Uh, if I should know, I think I'm gonna terminate the the server and rerun it. I know you can see that everything is up to date. It's using the CDN and everything, so we are grabbing all of those. So that's that's good now. Great. So let me just close this out, and then I'm going to import this nav bar into the apps uh, or app.view file because this is the main file so in here uh, do I need these do I want these no I'll just make some new ones so I'm just gonna get rid of those and then we're going to say uh, I'm gonna call it navbar I'm gonna call it navbar and this is the component that we're going to import I'm gonna get rid of all of these styles as well because I don't think I'll need them except for for this one, except for the last one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna comment. Actually, I'm just gonna take all of these and I'm going to comment these out as I I may I think I like this style and the active router link and stuff like that. So I'm gonna comment those out for now. And uh, then uh, we need to put in that script tag. So I'm just gonna put that script tag in here. And we're not going to use this like JavaScript or whatever. All we want to do is to do an export default. So we're gonna say export default and as an object. And uh, I'm gonna use a a data. Why are we doing it? Components. So we're gonna say components and then we're going to uh, get the navbar component but just before we do that we have to import this thing so we're gonna say import uh, navbar as we gave the name above there and we're gonna import that from such a pity we don't have any like type so that that uh, something that we can auto get this thing so this is in uh, gonna go to the root, the root and get uh is it do I have to put source? I don't think I have to put source root components slash uh navbar and that should do the trick so if we save this let's look at the loading so it's doing some loading here and uh, we have an issue a component <sighs> why is it not finding this thing let's just go let's just go back to the source let's type source but this should take us to the source that's why it doesn't make any sense to put source there let's use at because i don't think i don't think uh vue.js like the tilde i think that's more nux let's just use the at and see what if it's any better All right, see, great. So Vue.js doesn't like the tilde. I prefer the tilde, looks better. But let's just go ahead and see what happens. So you can see we have uh, the navigation that we would have uh, saw in the thing. And I'm just gonna clear some of these information out uh, of here. So we just have only the nav bar in here. And that should should do it for, for the video. So just refactor that. All right, so, we can clear that out 
that all of that has to do with this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete the home, the hello world, I should say, because we don't need this component. So I'm just going to delete that. And in the home, I think this is where it was imported. So let me just remove, uh, remove this so you can see it was imported here. So I'm just going to remove that. And the reason why I didn't put the, 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 the reason why I didn't put the nav bar in here is just because if I put, I want it to be on every page. So I want it to be on every single page. That's why I didn't put the nav bar in here. So now we should, I'm just gonna put an H1 in here that says home. And that's what we should see on the home, on the home page when we, when we refresh this. So let's see this compile and head back over to the browser and all this should disappear. So as you can see, we only have home here. So in the next video, we'll look at a form fixing or or nav bar and putting in the correct uh, navigation uh, tabs and stuff like that. That's pretty much it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.